So yeah, today's workout is designed to be body weight only. And at the same time, if you want to have a dumbbell nearby, you could definitely throw it into some of the exercises. Um, it's quick rounds, 40 second rounds. Um, we're going to do all strength, then all cardio, then all glutes, then all core. So it's kind of segmented out. And yeah, we'll get started here in just one second. Good morning, good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Colby, hello. All right, let's warm it up. Let's warm it up, let's do some step touches side to side. I hear some people are a little bit sore from the last workout in the best way, of course. <laughs> nice big step touches. Our focus today is quality reps. Our quote, quality is never an accident. It is always the result of intelligent effort. So I'll be focusing a little extra on quality reps. Let's do some hamstring curls. Not that we don't always focus on quality. But once we've got the quality dialed, then we can add the speed and the quantity. Squeezing the upper back. Oh, welcome, Jesse. Nice to see you. It's been a few days since I've seen you. Nice to have you on. Woo. All right, let's go for some tap and reach outs. Reach, 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 getting those obliques, the sides of your abdominals firing. Maybe you add a little pep to your step, you jump. Maybe not yet. Still easing into the day. Woo. Nice, reach for four, for three, two, I don't know. Okay, let's do some full body extensions. Reach for the floor, reach for the sky, reach for the floor, reach for the sky. Inchworms is another good option to do right now or full body extensions. Woo! Listening to your body, warming it up. Amazing, Suzanne, touching the floor, reaching for the sky. Hello, Anna. Welcome, welcome. All right, team, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of a deep squat now. We're gonna come down like this. We're gonna touch the floor and then we're gonna stick our butt in the sky. And then we're gonna bring your butt down. So you have wide feet as wide as you need to make it happen. And then you bring your bum up in the air and then you come down. If that's not happening, go for some nice squats. Otherwise, hands are on the ground. You're bringing your bum down and then you're sticking your butt up in the air. Nice work. All right, come up to standing. Let's go for a couple good mornings. Hands at the head, elbows peel back. Beautiful, strong, open posture. Inhale for it. Ooh, exhale up. Make the sound effect. <laughs> Ooh, squeeze the glutes at the top. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, Eden's in the house. Eden, it's been a while. You and Jesse decided to come today. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, let's go for some twists. Inhale left, exhale right. Maybe you're in cahoots together. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Getting a little bit of spinal mobility. Woo wee. Amazing, amazing. All right, let's do some bench over flies. Thumbs up. We're gonna do at least 20. Squeeze the upper back. Belly button to spine. So one of our exercises today is this. We're doing 40 second rounds of everything today. So if you decide, you know, you're like, I wanna grab weights, no worries. Otherwise it's a body weight workout. Good morning, Andrea. Woo -woo, you're up there early, you're up and at them. <laughs> welcome, welcome, squeeze for three, two, one. Okay, let's go for some jacks. Okay, so I'm gonna show you our first exercise just cause it's quick, quick 40 seconds. It's a frogger squat. That's why we practiced a little bit. So you're gonna come down and then you stick your butt in the sky and then you're gonna come down again and then stick your butt, okay? If you don't wanna do that, regular squats. Hands are in prayer position, okay? So otherwise, coming all the way down as low as you can, then stick your hips up. So only really your butt is moving up and down. It's gonna get the quads going. I know you're already sore from Monday, some of you, so you're welcome. <laughs> okay, 40 seconds. Frogger squats or regular drop squats. Let's go. Woo! It's a body weight workout. So it's down. Your feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width. Your toes are facing out. And you're coming all the way down. It's definitely gonna work your spinal flexion too. It's gonna work your back flexibility. All the way down, all the way up. Ooh, 
all the way down, all the way up. Different moves to keep our body guessing. And when we keep our body guessing, then we keep progressing. I've been thinking about that one all morning to say it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> keep the body guessing and progressing. Go Andrea, three, two, and one. Okay, now we stand, arms are up. We're doing curtsy lunge, stepping behind and across. <laughs> lunge down, back to center. Nice, curtsy lunges. If curtsy lunge doesn't work for you, step back lunge. If step back lunge doesn't work for you, pencil squat with a raise. All right, let's go, let's go. It's quick rounds. Squeeze the bum on every step. When we're doing curtsy lunge, we wanna think like we have headlights on our hips and they shine forwards the whole time as much as possible without twisting your hips too much. Yeah, nice Colby. Arms can be like this or they can be like this. As long as you're able to keep your arms straight, keep going. There's no transition time, so I'm gonna demo the next one. The next one's gonna be a reverse lunge with a twist over the front knee. If you wanna use a dumbbell, you definitely could. Starting in three, two, and switch. Reverse lunge, twist over that front knee. Maybe it's good that it's a body weight workout. <laughs> Since some of you said you're sore from Monday. Get the lactic acid moving out. Nice, Darren. Woo! Yeah, and feel free if you need to modify anything. If twisting's no good for you, you can hold the weight or nothing. You can even do a press out. Woo, come on, we got 10 seconds. Twisting over that front knee. Belly is tight. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake it out, shake it out. In three, two, one. All right, grab some water. We're going to do that again. Starting with frogger squats. You got 10 seconds. You can get early into the froggies. All right. Frogger squats again. A little bit wider than shoulder width. Toes are turned a little bit out. You're going to squat down and then stick your butt up in the air and then back down and then butt back up. If that's not serving you, go for some nice squats. Okay, let's go 40 seconds, we're on the clock. Woo wee! All the way up in the air with your butt, all the way down. For me, this is a lot of flexibility too, in the calves and ankles and, and the back. Woo, nice. All the way down, all the way up, moving our body in a different way today, challenging ourselves to think differently, Woo, quality. How low can you get that booty? How high can you get that butt? How many more reps can you do like that? You've only got three seconds. You feeling it, Colby? Owie, yeah. And switch, arms up, curtsy lunge. Let's go. Nice quick transitions. Hips are squared, belly is tight. Shoulders are drawn down. And then it's all about that butt. Feel into that front butt cheek. Feel into that inner thigh as you step back to the center. Woo, nice, Darren. Going for lots of reps. Quality first, then we add the quantity. Nice, Anna. Yeah, Deanne, you're here. Woo, woo Way to go, Deanne. You know what? This crew is growing because some people had to go back to work. <laughs> so I couldn't do the 9.30 anymore. Two. And one, okay, rotations over the front knee. Let's go lunge, rotate, lunge, rotate. Let's go, Woo, squeeze the glute on every single rep. Nice, Darren, shoulders back, chest proud. I love it, nice. Feel that front butt cheek of the front leg. See if you can really make it work. Push through the heel, push through the heel as you step back to center. 40 seconds, screams by. Yoo-hoo! Go, Andrea, come on. Yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo! Three, two, and one. Okay. We didn't do the flies last round, did we? No, I missed them. Okay, we're gonna do the flies. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, I missed them. <laughs> Squeeze. If you wanna use weights, you can. Belly button is taut. Your, today we're gonna have our thumbs up. Squeeze. Think about your posture. When you're standing at your desk or sitting at your desk, you wanna have nice posture, this will help. Proud chest, strong, sexy back. Yee-wee, nice Wendy. 
Have some fun with it. Think like you're squishing an empty pop can between your shoulder blades. Yes. Nancy R looking so strong. Go Nancy P. Yes, we got five, four, squeeze, proud chest, two and one. All right, all right. Okay, so we're going back to froggers. One more time only. Are we good? Are we loving the frogs? <laughs> Love, strong word. Okay, let's get into it. If you need a little more time, you just take whatever you need. Let's go last set, froggers. Bum all the way up, all the way down. Working the flexibility. I bet by the third round, you're kind of easing into it more. The blood has been flowing for a few moments. The synovial fluid in the joints is moving around. Woo -wee. The muscles are warmer. So many good things happening from our exercise routine. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Wendy, getting deep, deep as you can. Woo, feels good, right, Jesse? <laughs> nice work, nice work. It's happening fast. Three, two, and switch. Arms up, last time, curtsy lunge. Yoo-hoo, belly is tight. We're moving on to cardio after this. Sectioning out the workout. Woo-wee. Nice. Stepping behind and across. Feel that glutes squeezing as you, it almost like a stretch. It's almost like stretching as it strengthens. Woo. Keeping those hips forward as much as you can with those headlights forwards. Nice. Come on, come on. Shoulders are set down the back rather than shrugged up. Come on, we got this. Go, go, go. Three. Nice. Two and one. All right, we got the rotation over the knee with the reverse lunge. Nice quick reps. Now we've got the quality mastered. If you can, have your front toe so slightly turned out, that'll help your lunge be more even. It'll help your inner thigh get some of the action, not just always the outer thigh. So toe one degree turned out. That's why I wear white shoes. <laughs> Otherwise I can't see my toe in the screen. <laughs> nice job. Shoulders are back, nice big twist. And you can always modify, love it Nancy. Always modify as you need. Ooh, yeah. Go Wendy with those narrow squats, squeezing a cushion. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's do our flies. Thumbs up, squeeze it up. We're gonna go double time to make up for my, my gaff, <laughs> my, my mistake. Squeeze the upper back. I always tell my daughter, we can clean up what we mess up. <laughs> so I'm cleaning it up by going for 80 seconds. <laughs> Squeeze the upper back. I hope you don't hate me. <laughs> nice work, team. You can make it a full rep all the way down, all the way up. Or if you want extra challenge, you can squeeze and pulse at the top few inches of the range of motion. Nice. Extra quality by pulling the shoulders down. Extra quality to the move by pulling the belly in. Yeah, Darren. Darren's adding extra weight, extra resistance. You're over halfway, good news, good news. Oh, don't we love this long round? <laughs> We're working endurance. Yeah, you can always reset. All right, this is at 20 seconds. Finish strong, belly button to spine. Squeeze the upper back, 10, nine, eight. Nice, Andrea, great posture. Goo, five seconds, four, squeeze. Get a couple more quality reps, three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, now we gotta shake our shoulders out. <laughs> Perfect timing for some cardio. We're going for jumping jacks first. Jumping jacks. Now, if you're tired of the old plain Jane jack, you could do a forward jack. You could do a regular jack to a, to a scissor jack, just to change it up, to make your brain work a little harder. You, or we can do tap outs, or we can do star jacks. 40 seconds, we're already rolling, we're already rolling. Regular jack to scissor jack. Woo wee! Come on, come on, come on. 10 seconds of these. Next move, no transition time. We're doing shuffles out, in, four out, four in. Let's go, 40 seconds. Four out, four in, four out, four in. 
Come on, come on. Go Darren, come on fast as your hands will move. Yeah, four, out, four, in. Four, out, four, in. Whew. Modify as you need. Maybe you take the pressure off and you march four in, four out. Very awkward. <laughs> I'm making it look really awkward. <laughs> Keep going. Three, Woo. two, and one. We got butt kicks now. Butt kicks with an arm reach. You're kicking your butt as hard as you can. Hamstring curls for lower impact. You come on, 40 seconds. Or you're reaching for the sky. Kicking your butt with your heel. Yoo-hoo! Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, Andrea, feel free to modify any moves. Make it your favorite move. Come on, you got one more and then we get a quick reprieve, a quick active rest. After this, we're gonna do burpees or full body extensions. Full body extension like we did in the warm up. Or burpee, three, two, one, go. 40 seconds. Then you get a little reprieve. And we're gonna do a little bit of glutes, standing glutes. Woo, I'm getting winded. <laughs> now I get to watch all you work hard. Go Andrea. Remember those benefits of cardiovascular work. Your heart is getting healthier. Your lungs are gaining more capacity. So you can hike. Maybe you can go for a hiking mission and be the leader of the pack. Woo! Come on, Darren. Put yourself into it. What's your physical goal that you're excited about? Three, two, and one. All right, grab water. Do a quick glute. We're gonna do kickbacks on the diagonal. So not straight back, not to the side, kind of on a, what would it be, 90 degrees, 45 degrees? Yeah, let's do that, 45 degrees. <laughs> Squeeze the glute. Woo! I'm not so great with math. My husband's an engineer, so he always laughs at me <laughs> when I make angle mistakes. Squeeze the glutes. Nice three, two, and switch sides. Belly button is taut. Squeeze on the diagonal. Woo! <laughs> Shoulders are back. Belly button is tight. Yes. Finding that balance and then we're rolling right back into cardio, starting with those jumping jacks. Maybe you liked doing the one to the out and one to the front. Woo! All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're back to cardio here in about five seconds. It's basically three minutes of full cardio. So let's do this. Jumping jacks. Woo! Maybe adding a little flair to it. Some people like to do steel jacks. Woo! Some people like to do floor jacks. Woo! Floor jacks. Anything goes. As long as your heart rate is elevating, as long as you're having a little bit of fun, perhaps. You! Moving your body. One of my favorite ways to think about exercise these days is that it's a celebration of what we can do. It's not a punishment for having too much wine and pizza last night. It's a celebration that we are alive. Three, two, and we're doing those narrow. Let's go. <laughs> I'm making these look really awkward. You all look way more coordinated. <laughs> nice work. Approximately four, <laughs> and then four in the middle. Woo, pumping the arms. Let's go, let's go. Yes, Jesse, go, go, go. Eden, crushing the cardio, getting those arms pumping. All of your spin classes, Eden, are paying off. <laughs> go, go, go. Yes, three, two, and right into butt kicks. Woo, -wee. reach those arms. Lower impact. Woo, hamstring curls, <laughs> hamstring curls. Yes, 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 cardio is not my biggest forte. <laughs> nice work, go Colby. That's okay. We work on it, right? Come on, come on, come on, you're crushing it. 12 more seconds of these. Woo-wee. Let's go, come on, feel good. 
You just have burpees or full body extensions, and then you're gonna rest. Go, burpees or full body extensions. 40 seconds, and then you get to rest. Woo! Now remember, quality is never an accident. It's always the result of intelligent effort. So try to make your reps quality. Even if they're fast, even if your heart rate's soaring, try to still do it with some intentionality. Like Jessie's doing burpees, and I can tell that she is making sure her belly is tight as she jumps back. Even though she's probably getting fatigued, she's still working on quality reps. Colby, yes, getting lots of burpees, protecting that spine. Three seconds, go Darren, reach for the sky. Two and one. Amazing, high fives. I like that. Do you guys like that? Feeling alive, woo woo. Awesome, okay, we're gonna do our standing glutes again. This time, we're actually gonna do hamstring and glute. We're gonna kick up, kick up. So you should feel your glutes and your hamstrings. Some of you could even squeeze something, maybe a towel, maybe a bender ball, maybe something. Ooh, you don't have to though. Oh yeah, feel the bum. Work in that balance. If your balance is really off, it's probably just because your heart rate's high. That's how it works. When your heart rate's high, your balance gets a little shakier. So you can always hold the finger on the wall. Okay, let's go. Woo! That's actually why it's good to work on your balance when you're tired, when your heart rate's elevated. So when you get in the real world and you're exhausted at the end of the day, you have a better chance of catching yourself if you slip. Ooh, squeeze the bum. You're at the end of a long hike. Maybe you trip, but you catch yourself because you're so agile because you trained yourself in the workouts. Three more, squeeze two more. And one, okay, last cardio, who's ready? Darren, I know you're ready. Woo, okay, jack it out, jack it out. Remember, this is your last round. Third's a charm, right? Make it your best round. Have some fun, quality. How do I make my jumping jack better, quality, even better? You wanna tuck your rib cage. You don't wanna be like this. You wanna have your rib cage tucked. You wanna have your belly tight. I like to do full range of motion, so touching thumbs at the top, but if that doesn't work for you, no problem. You could even do a clap at the front. Be light on your feet. Whew. 10 more seconds. Maybe you're doing the scissor too. Whew. Nice. Maybe add a smile to your face because you're working it. You came, you showed up. Eden's all smiles today. All right, switch it up. We're doing the running. Four in, four out. Woo! Extra points if you make it look real funny. <laughs> Pump the arms. Yee! Yes! We gotta have some fun in this life. Core is strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pump those arms. This one's harder than it looks. <laughs> go, Darren. Come on, pump those arms. How fast can you go? How high can you get those knees? Yeah, Come on. Come on. Three, two, and butt kicks. Butt kicks. I like to add the arms. Anytime you can add arms to cardio, you're going to burn more calories. If that's part of your goal, you're going to get more muscles activating. Woo! And it's fun. <laughs> it's fun, right? <laughs> Kick your butt. Woo wee. Yes, yes. The reason you burn more calories is because more muscles are having to move through space. Woo! Burn more calories, ultimately burn more fat. Some people, that's a goal. Woo! Come on, three, you, two, and one. All right, this is it. Burpees or full body extensions or change it up entirely. It's the last cardio of the day. Let's go. Woo -wee. Some of us are, have a different type of goal. Some of us just wanna feel good. So give it all you got to boost those happy, feel good hormones. Also called endorphins. That post-workout high that you cannot buy. You gotta work for it. 15 seconds. Woo -wee. Let's get that post-workout high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Darren, go.
Go, Wendy. Go, Anna. Woo! Deanne. Come on, Andrea. Jesse. Nancy. Woo! And you're done. Yeah. High fives. You're amazing. You're amazing. So good. Okay, before we go down to the floor, we're going to do a nice slow squat. Knee across crunch. Nice slow squat. Knee across crunch. And then we're going to go down. We got some awesome glute work. Oh, yeah. And then we got some awesome core work. Nice. Pull those elbows back and then crunch across. Bring that knee past the elbow. You feel those obliques coming across. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, team. That's a wrap for the standing section of the workout. Come on down to the floor. We're gonna be doing fire hydrants to start for our glutes. So grab a sip of water. Everything's 40 seconds. Fire hydrants, you're on all fours. You're gonna go out to the side and back. The reason I made that weird sound is because I'm not very flexible. So it's awkward for me. So it's still great though. All I want you to do is go as high as you can and back and you don't touch the ground. You just go back out again. So your knee is bent to 90 degrees and you're squeezing your bum at the top. If you're finding you want more, you can even pulse three times at the top of the range of motion and then come down. Another way to challenge yourself is that you don't touch the ground in between. You're just hovering and you go again. Remember that principle of time under tension. More time under tension, more results. Ooh, three, two, and we're gonna switch to that second set, side. Belly button taut, second side. We wanna, we wanna imagine like we have our water bottle on our back or a coffee mug or a cup of water or whatever we have. It's not gonna spill because our arms and our core are so strong, only our butt and our, and our hip is moving and our leg is moving. Great job team. Remember, if you want that extra challenge, you do the pulse at the top. Three, two, one, and then you come back down. You're almost there. Yeah, Wendy, squeeze that glute. Yee hoo Three, two, and one. Okay, we get to go on our side now. We get to lay down. We get to lay on our side. We're gonna have our toe down, and we're gonna go up and down like this. Now, some of you who are feeling extra boisterous today, extra challenge would be prop up yourself onto your shoulder, onto your elbow, even more would be a full side plank with a leg lift. <laughs> Not for me. Not today. <laughs> Squeeze and lift and lower. Lift as high as you can. Thinking about pointing your toe down. See if you feel it a little different when you point your toe down. I usually feel it more in my gluteus medius. That's what we want, the side butt. The glute butt muscle that's on the side of our butt. Nice, three, two, thumbs up if you feel it. One, awesome. Okay, second side, second side, toe down. Woo. Let's go up and down. Remember the options, you can prop yourself up onto your elbow. I do find when you prop yourself up, it targets the butt a little different. Next round, you could do that. <laughs> and if you wanna do the full side plank, that's definitely gonna get your uh, obliques and your shoulder working a lot more. Great job, we're almost there. Woo, almost there. Two and one. Okay, we're gonna go onto our back. We're gonna do glute bridges. We're gonna do pulses for the entire 40. The 40 seconds of pulses. I want you to push all your weight through your heels. I want you to squeeze your butt cheeks so hard. Arms are up in the sky and you're only doing an inch or two up and down. Thrusting your hips, squeezing your hips, squeezing your butt cheeks together. Pushing through the heel, all your weight through the heel, through the heel. Yes, come on, you got this. Keep going, Colby, I love it. 
Little tiny pulses, almost there. Almost there, you can do it. Three, two, and done, nice. Okay, back to the top, one more round. We're just doing two rounds of these. So we're gonna be on all fours again. Grab water, grab a quick sip of water, and then reset yourself. So equal weight between both hands. Belly is tight. Bye, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy R. All right, we're going up to the side. Fire hydrant. Let's go. Last round. We're doing these ones twice through. Squeeze and lift and lower. Squeeze and lift and lower. This is good. It's working our range of motion in our hip at the same time as it's strengthening our gluteus minimus and medius. Those are the smaller butt muscles on the sides. The maximus is at the very back. The medius are on the side and the minimus. And they're so important because they keep your body stable and they make it so your knees don't have to work as hard to stabilize you. Woo, almost there. You got three, belly tight, two and one. Nice, second side, same story. Equal weight between both hands, spread your hands out, pull your belly taut and tight, and then you move from that place of strength, that quality foundation. Nice, strong, intentional movements. Love it, go Colby. Nice, I love it. Go Deanne. Woo, squeeze. We got this. Nice, Jesse. that water is on your back, balancing. Nice, go Eden, I know you're down there working hard. Go Anna, woo! Way to come early before school, Anna, or maybe before work. Three, two, and one. Okay, we get to lay on our side now. Quick transitions, lift and lower, toe faces down. If you want more intensity for that 40 seconds, because you know you can, you're gonna pulse it at the top of the range of motion. You know you're not coming back, you can also prop yourself up. For some reason, the way the angles work, when you prop yourself up on your elbow, it just targets your butt even more. <laughs> if that's something you're interested in. Great job. Ooh, you're over halfway, come on. Even if it burns, especially if it burns, that means you're building new muscle. So keep going for 10, nine. I know I have a butt goal, so I like the burn. I embrace the burn, five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's give our butt a little tap. Thank you, butt. We gotta thank our butts once in a while, right? All right, let's switch to that second side. Woo! Lift and lower. Maybe we're chilling on the ground. Maybe we're propped up a little bit. Let's go. Squeeze, squeeze. Maybe that toe is facing down for that little extra. Woo wee! Squeeze, nice work. Woo, lifting and lowering. Go Wendy, nice Colby. Come on, Suzanne, you're so strong. Yeah, bye. Oh, Nancy, if you're going, I don't think you are. I think that's your leg propping up and down. I thought you were waving for a second. <laughs> Keep going, 10 seconds. Woo, we got two Nancys on the workout. Both leave early for work. What are the, what are the odds of that? <laughs> Three seconds more. Two and one. All right, nice. Great job. Let's finish with those glute bridges. And then we got just some core. And then you're done for the day. And then you can go on with your amazing day. We're pulsing at the top. Or we're, we're laying on our back, pushing through our heels. Every rep, we squeeze our glutes together. Woo wee. Yes, yes. Squeeze. Belly button is tight. <laughs> squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. <laughs> nice work. Go, Wendy. Push through those heels, Colby. Yes. Five seconds. Come on. We can do it. We want those glutes strong. Three, two, and one. All right. We're done with the glutes. Let's reset. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll grab a sip of water. All right. We're gonna go for a seated V-sit in and out. So looks like this, coming in and out, in 
and out. You can also do <laughs> feet on the floor. You can go like this, a little bit less intense. Still gonna get the abs though. I think I, I, think I like this option. <laughs> so in and outs like this. We're going for 40 seconds, of course. Bye, Nancy. Mwah. Love you. Have a great day with the grade 12s at school. <laughs> All right, let's go. Whew. Remember when being in grade 12, you felt so old or you felt so mature? <laughs> now I look at grade 12s and I can't believe they're not, little, I think they're like little kids. <laughs> keep going, keep going. In and out, in and out. If you want that extra challenge, you got 10, nine. Woo, keep going, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two. I know, okay, we're going brush and twist. Right to left, right to left. I'm gonna stick with the theme of the day, which is no weight. But if you wanna add weight, please do. You can also come up more to seated. If you need less, if you need more, you lean back or you lift your feet and or you lift your feet. Nice. Yes, I want to share something. Don't stop, keep going. But if you're someone that finds like when you do this type of movement in a V-sit, your hip flexors get really fired up. Couple tips. One is using a bender ball behind your low back. It kind of helps turn off the hip flexors if you have options like that. Another thing is to stretch them out before the workout. Woo, but we only have three seconds. And then we have two seconds. And then we have one second. All right, team, we're gonna flip over. We're gonna do a plank with a hip drop. So you're gonna drop your hip to the right, then you're gonna come back to center. Then you're gonna drop your hip to the left, back to center. Now, if that's just not happening for you, it's just not feeling right, you can hold the plank from the toes or knees. All right, 40 seconds. I would say these don't feel natural for me personally. That doesn't mean it's not a good exercise though. Woo. So drop the hip to the right and back to center. Drop to the hip to the left. And probably because we don't do them very often. Woo. Drop the hip to the right. Drop the hip to the left. Oh, yeah. Feel your obliques, the sides of your abdominals when you dip that hip. Woo. When I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> you remember that song, Colby? <laughs> keep going, keep going. We got six seconds. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, add on. Okay, we got 40 seconds of push ups from the wall, from a chair, from a couch, from the floor, from your knees, from your toes, with a kid on your back, like Emmy on Colby's back. <laughs> Good timing, Emmy. Perfect timing. <laughs> nice. Let's go, team. If you're not doing push ups, you could be doing chest press on your back, peg fly. Oh yeah, but we got the push-ups going. We got only 10 more seconds. Yoo-hoo! Come on, mom. <laughs> Come on, Colby. <laughs> Five seconds. Go, Anna. Nice, Deanne. You're all so strong. Yes, Wendy. Look at you go. You got the cat cheering you on beside you. <laughs> all right, done. So good, so good. Flip around, grab a water. We're back to the in and outs. If you liked this floor work version, I kind of thought it was cool. I was still feeling my abs. That would be a great option. Or you can do the full version with your hands off the ground, or you could be on your back doing bicycles. If you're feeling your hip flexors getting really loud, that's not really good. It means they're trying to do all the work and they're taking away the, the, the strength from your abs. So then you might want to actually go into your back and do a different version of the exercise where your hip flexors are quieter. Great job, team. Woo! Let's go, let's go. We got this. Nice. Nice, Colby, with a little extra weight. <laughs> Keep going, team. Inhale, exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we got Russian twist. Hey, Colby, maybe you could lift Emmy from side to side. <laughs> Emmy's like a five-year-old, right? <laughs> she looks like she might be conducive to lifting. <laughs> Shoulders back, lifting right to left. 
Beautiful work today, team. We're almost finished the workout. We just had the last two exercises after this. If your hip flexors are loud, come up a bit more to seated, work more on the rotation. And then I'll quickly show you, this is my favorite hip flexor stretch. So this is the only stretch I ever recommend before a workout, because you don't want these hip flexors loud. You want them, you want them stretched and tired and not really working. Woo, great job, three, two, and one. All right, last two moves of the day. Plank, plank, p -p -p plank, hip dip, or perhaps you hold the plank, or perhaps you hold it from the knees. 40 seconds, last two moves. We're taking it right to the finish line. We're rocking it today. Nice, Wendy, dip that hip. Feel the belly pull in. Feel the side of your abdominals activate and stretch to the side. Woo. Back to the middle. Quality, make sure you come back to that foundation each time. You come back to the middle, you reset. Sometimes people have to kind of move their feet a little bit. Some people don't. Some people have to readjust their feet constantly as they do it. Some people seem to just be able to rotate through their feet. Both are great, five seconds. Woo. Three, two, and one. All right, finish the workout strong with some push-ups. 40 seconds of push-ups. All out, all you got. And if you're not feeling good about push-ups, maybe you have a shoulder issue or a chest issue, you can do some chest press on your back. You can do some pack fly on your back. Woo, we're already halfway. Oh yeah, belly button is drawn in tight. You're always exhaling as you press up, blow as you go, as Jody says, blow as you go. Woo wee, that's a good mind, that's a good thing to remember, blow as you go. Blow on the heart of heart. Nice, Anna, three, two, and one. All right, that's a wrap. Great job today, team. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, awesome. Okay, let's stretch our chest out for a couple rounds of, um, this is called the Alexander shoulder roll. Someone named Alexander invented it. <laughs> so you get to lay on your side, hands are together in front. You're gonna flip your top hand and then draw a big circle around your body. It's a chest and shoulder mobilizer. If you find some spot that's extra tight, you can hang out there. You can just chill there and breathe into it and try to surrender into it rather than resist it. Tell your body it's safe. You're not gonna let it get injured. That's what your body, that's why your body tenses up as if it's afraid of getting injured. And when you breathe, that really helps your nervous system and your body calm down. All right, we're gonna do the other side, but first we'll do our quad because we're in the perfect spot for it. So let's grab the lace of our shoe. Let's press our hip forward. Squeeze your bum. Nice job today. I just wanna share something that I'm, uh, that I'm doing today at noon. One of my favorite practices is not so much focusing on what to eat, focusing on how you actually eat. So there's a practice called mindful eating, switch sides. And it's, it's kind of uh, not complicated, but there's a few steps to doing it. And I'm gonna be doing a mindful eating lunch at noon, it's free. If anyone wants to join at noon, at, it's gonna be about 40 minutes. We're gonna eat our lunch together. And I'm gonna share this mindful eating practice with you. It's really cool. It helps with weight loss. It helps with digestion. It helps with being present with your food. And, and when we're present with our food, we become more present in our lives, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put um, the link in the Facebook group if anyone's interested. I also emailed it out. Ah, we're doing the shoulder roll. I think I talked through that transition. <laughs> All right, let's do our quad now. Grab the lace of the shoe. Press your hip bone forward. Ah, so if getting 
more aware of how you eat and maybe enjoying food more and having more pleasure with food, but also having a happier relationship with it, not finding it such a stressful thing. If that resonates, come at noon. I'm also gonna send out the recording if you can't make it live. Awesome. All right, and let's finish. Let's just finish with a couple of cat to cows, just for the spine. Just giving some love to our spine, which is so critical for our energy to have a spine that moves well. Inhaling and exhaling. Darren, you're gonna come at lunch. <laughs> come at the food court. Just kidding. <laughs> Inhaling and exhaling, anyone's welcome. All right, great workout today. I thought that was pretty fun. You all crushed it. So glad to be with you. Hey there, Charmaine Ironside here, and I just want to say congrats for rocking out those exercises with me. And if you want to get more awesome content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, give this video a like if you thought it was worthwhile, and feel free to leave a comment down below what you liked about it as well. And lastly, if you want to connect with me beyond the YouTube world, check out my description box below this video for a little bit more info, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.